Hi, welcome to Three Questions With. I got my friend Carrington with us from Plus Street Street Studios. Good afternoon, Carrington. How are you doing? I'm doing well, Kevin. How are you? I'm just living the dream, my friend. So we want to go in a little different direction today. I want to talk about trust. And often we'll see a picture that makes us want to do business with somebody. And then when we do, we see that the picture really isn't what you're getting. Mm -hmm. and I know I've been times where I'm like, wow, that, that picture was really misleading. And it, it and I, you dismiss the brand. And I'm not trying to be mean today, but you just like, oh, I'm never going to do this with them again because I thought I was getting this. So I was all excited. I drove this location to get it. And yep. it wasn't quite what I thought it was. Yeah, Talk no, that happens all the time when it comes to, especially like product imagery across the board and brands understanding like how far can you push the envelope before you're actually going to start deterring that trust factor. Yeah. And unfortunately it does, you know, where you're like, that wasn't what I thought it was and stuff. So how do you know where the line is though? I mean, it's one thing, you know, to kind of make it look pretty. It's another thing when it's just downright deceiving. Yeah. So one big thing is making sure it still looks like the product, <laughs> right? So I was talking earlier today with somebody and they were telling me how they bought a necklace and he, this guy was like, he was like, it was a really cool necklace and it was dark and it was moody and all this stuff. He got it in the mail and it was silver. Whoops. And he reached out to them and they, he was like, I thought it was going to be like a black, like dark, kind of nice, fun, like moody necklace. And they're like, no, it's silver. And he's like, guys, the image is black. Hmm. So the photographer decided, oh, we're going to have fun with this and make this really cool image. But when the actual product was received, they're like, this looks nothing like the photo. And he's not happy. And he's like, I'm not buying from them again. Because he was like, I thought I was getting this and I got that. It's not the same. So you still want to be able to make it so your imagery looks appealing, is visually aligned with your brand. But once you hit a point where you're like, oh, wait, this isn't necessarily what they're going to have in hand. Now you're going to be risking getting a higher return rate because once that product's in hand, it's not what they thought they were getting. And then worse, I mean, I'm going to return it and be the hassle of that, but I'm also, also going to go on social media and express my displeasure, you know, where I may even go as far as take a picture of it and go, okay, look at the website. It's clearly black. This one's clearly silver. Where's the disconnect, people? Mm -hmm. So it, it's worse than just returning it. It could really hit the negative reviews when someone's looking at you and they come up upon your Google and they see that 2.0 instead of 5.0, you know, red flag is going to come up pretty quick. Yeah. Another big part where brands struggle with when it comes to photography is scale. And how mm. big is the product? Yep. So many people will buy something and they get it and it's like this big. I'm like, oh, I thought it'd be like that big. And then they look at the photo and they're like, I, this isn't, this isn't aligning with what I saw. So especially with certain products, I'm like, all right, we always need to be able to figure out what is the best way for the customer to understand how big is the product? Are you receiving a little bottle hmm. or are you getting like a giant jar? Yep. Right. Because it's very deceiving when you're looking at something online, if you have no point of reference. Yeah. I mean, and I know some people throw out measurements, doesn't do anything for me. No. If you're, this is X by X, Honestly, I have to go up and ask my wife, like, what's what's five by five? <laughs> like, and she'll, yeah, I'm it. like, okay, and I'm like, ooh, that's small or whatever, you know. But yep. again, you know, I know, like, well, it's sad if you paid attention, or it's you know, in the fine print somewhere, you know, mm -hmm. uh, you know, at least it says, hey, this isn't scaled, you know, and stuff. So right. it's all little things that maybe even unintentional. You didn't mean to deceive anyone, but as consumers, that's how we feel. We would we were deceived. They took advantage of me, even even if maybe it was my fault because I didn't pay attention to what I saw. I'm not going to say, you know what, Carrington, I messed up. I should have read the read the thing. All right. I said was the picture said that looks pretty. I want it and bought it. So it hurts. Right. And brain, right? to your point, you didn't read. No one wants to read. Yeah. So if you're not giving your viewer enough educational value out of your photos, that's the risk you run. So I always tell brands, I'm like, you have a carousel of images. We need to figure out through those images, how do we take that that whole description and convey that same messaging in that carousel? 
Yep. So people don't have to read if they don't want to, and they can still get all the information. And that'll help people understand what they're getting before they get it. So Carrington, what's the best way to reach out to you if people want to talk more about this? They can reach out to me via email at info at prospectstreetstudio.com or just on my website at prospectstreetstudio.com. And that's singular, not plural. Awesome. Appreciate you taking a few minutes calling to show. And as always, thanks for being my friend. Always.